I understand that people are having a lot of issues right now about people doing response videos to things and not having anything new to add to them, but I don't really care about all that. I have things that I want to say, and I'm not about to sit here on YouTube for an hour to try to watch anyone, if anyone's uploaded anything on this topic, just to see if they're going to say what I want to say. I don't even think that this video is something that most people want to respond to, but there are many things that I wanted to say, so I'm just going to put it out there. I wanted to edit this video, I had ideas for how I was going to edit it, but I have way too many projects that I'm trying to work on that are a lot more lighthearted, so I'm just going to read what I've typed here and put a picture up and upload it, and hopefully you guys don't mind, so let me get started. I saw the interview between Ethan and Joey on H3H3 about his newest prank videos and how Ethan was able to make Joey admit that he's faked some of his pranks recently, even though Joey did at first try to say that the Black Lives Matter prank was real. You could obviously tell that he was lying because he simply said he tried to ask him if the Black Lives Matter video was fake or not and Joey was trying to dodge it. And Ethan said, what if I told you that I had footage that was proof that it wasn't? Or if I had footage against that? Or something along those lines. I'm paraphrasing. And Joey said, let me see the footage. Replace that with any other sentence. Have you ever eaten a donut in your life? Oh, uh, well, no. I've never eaten a donut in my life. What if I had video footage that proved that you did? Would you say that you ate a donut at your life at some point now? Oh, uh, let me see the footage first. It, clearly you're fucking lying and you ate a donut before. So we're going to move on. I was angry at the interview because Joey was allowed to make himself seem reasonable. Ethan didn't hold his feet to the fire. Joey showed that he is an obvious Trump supporter and he said that there is some truth to his pranks, meaning the pranks with Black Lives Matter and black people being violent. He switched between the two. No, you make it seem like black people are violent. Some are, but guess what? People are violent. There's way more videos out there of real Trump supporters beating up black people and other minorities as well as Bernie supporters. So he's manipulating the conversation. Joey is doing propaganda. He also made Ethan speechless when he said that the black guys knew what they were doing and did it anyway. Even when Ethan asked in detail what specific intentions would they be relaying to the public through their actions in this video, Joey said that they were aware of all of them, knew exactly what they were doing, and did it anyway. There are so many people in this world who diminish the value of their own groups. There's a woman on YouTube who says that white people are by definition racist and she's white. People in the LGBT community for years have constantly accused bisexuals of being confused. They accuse trans people of being confused. But when they're gay or lesbian, they want people to understand them. That does not define the entire group. They are the vocal minority. There are gay men who call being gay a sin. Meanwhile, they're raping little boys. Every group has these people. And when he did his damage control video, where he explained that he originally wanted to film the reactions of other people, and then he later got the idea that he could edit it a different way, he still told Ethan that the black actors in that video were fully aware of exactly how he currently had uploaded it, and that's why they did it. That right there is a contradiction. If we're really supposed to be going off of what Joey is saying, then he's saying that the actors in that video would only be able to assume that the sole purpose of them being in the video is to cause other people to have a reaction so there can be some sort of discussion spark, not so that they can paint black people in a negative light. There's no possible way that with that context, they would have known that Joey would later want to re-edit the video in a different way. So he lied again in the interview. You never let the interviewed ask the interviewer the questions because when you do that, it tips the scales in their favor and they make you look like you don't know what you're talking about. And it's understandable if you slip up every now and then we're only human, but it doesn't change the outcome that will be a reality if you allow that to happen. They will look like they know more than you or that someone can't take you for your word because you don't know how to fight back against their questioning against you. That's why you don't let them get that leverage on you or have that leg up on you. So now that Joey was allowed to ask the interviewer questions, he has tipped the scales to make Ethan look like he doesn't really know what he's talking about. And Joey gets to walk away looking like he was just being naive. But he wasn't. He said, it's not about the money. The money just comes along with it. But he's bragging about having 200k plus cash. So much money that he doesn't know what to do with it all. He also said that he does these sorts of videos because they blow up the most. 
but you didn't care about the money. So you just want the fame and that's it? Then why do you complain and play victim when your name is out there getting slammed? You're still getting fame, you're still getting views, your videos are still blowing up, but now you're upset. Do you want people to look at you in a positive light despite the actions that you're pursuing in your videos? The money has nothing to do with it at all and yet you're bragging. He said, I don't do these videos all the time. So if you murder someone, it's not that bad because you're not doing it all the time. If you spit in a person's face, it's not that bad because you don't do it all the time. This isn't a debatable issue because what you're essentially saying is you're allowed to race bait as long as you don't do it all the time. It isn't wrong because you're not doing it all the time. The fact that you're even willing to do it one time is egregious enough. There's no excuse for the things that you've done. And yet all you've done is excuse yourself throughout this entire interview barely holding on and only admitting your faults when you have no other option. Yes, I'm happy that Joey admitted it, that he admitted that his pranks, some of his pranks were fake. But all in all, him admitting it honestly isn't really going to change anything. People are still going to support him. Joey is still lying and almost tried to say that the Black Lives Matter one was real. Ethan even said in his own interview that Joey has nothing to lose by admitting that his pranks are fake because his audience already knows that. His meaning Ethan's audience. So even though it is a good thing that he got him to admit that some of his pranks were fake, it doesn't really mean anything when Joey's able to walk away still looking like he's not that bad of a guy. When in reality, he's doing propaganda by propping up racists on YouTube and making them seem as if their hatred of black people is legitimate. He appears naive and oblivious towards the hatred that his audience has towards black people and other minorities, even though he's been receiving these comments and these exposure videos for months on end. I just want to say that I don't have any problems with Ethan. I shouldn't have to say this because I haven't said anything to make anyone believe that I do. I'm just saying that I have issues with the interview. I don't hate the interview. I don't expect for Ethan to be a journalist. He's not a journalist. So for me to expect for him to perform as a professional journalist is for me to hold him at a higher expectation than he is capable of meeting. And that's not fair. I'm not going to do that. So I don't have any issues with what he did, but since the interview's over and we're all able to look at it and see the flaws in it, I wanted to point some things out. And it's as simple as that. I have no issues with him. I have issues with Joey for sure, that's obvious. But I just wanted to say that in case anyone got the wrong idea from watching this. That's all that I have to say for this video. I don't know if I sound a little bit hoarse or not. I, I'm really tired and almost died yesterday. So like I said, I'm not editing this shit. I'm editing the audio and that's it. I'm just going to continue working on the content that I've been working on because I have so many things that I need to do and I'm also going to be putting up an update. Yes, another update is coming. One where I talk about a new microphone that I'm going to be getting since a lot of you want to keep suggesting that I need a new microphone. I'm aware. Thank you. Um, so yeah, a lot of things coming soon and thanks for watching and yep, I'll talk to you guys later.